my channel and if you're new here, heya! Today I'm going to be doing a back to school natural makeup look, making it look as natural as possible, but also, you know, glamming it up a little bit. So I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit subscribe and you like this video and comment down below what video you want me to do next. I'll see you in the video. I'm going to just get it straight into it. First item we are going to use today is this Rose Dewy Glow by The Body Shop. Do you just want to hold it? And then I like to like tap this into my skin like this. This is great because it really hydrates and moisturizes your face and it really preps it. So that's like one of the things that I always do. I always moisturize my face before I put any makeup on. Also, if you're spraying this early in the morning on your face and it's very cold, it's gonna wake you up, so it's a good thing. You're waking up in the morning. Next up, I'm gonna use some primer. This is the Matte and Blur Primer Matte Attack by CYO. I put this on in five different spots. My nose, my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. You can never have too much primer. And I'm just gonna rub this in with my hands. Primer is the most important thing whenever you're wearing makeup is the most important step because this is what your foundation or concealer will latch onto and in the end it will give it a very flawless finish. You really want to make sure you get into the crevices of your face, especially under your eyes and around your nose. Next is foundation. This is the long lasting foundation Life Proof by CYO. So I'm just going to shake it up quickly before I actually apply it. I'm just taking a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand, like that, and beauty blender away. I don't like to put foundation across the whole of my face, I usually just put it on like my problematic areas because if you let a little bit of skin show through it makes it look more realistic. Blending is the key step here. Foundation's done, now we need to set it with the translucent powder. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime. Just getting the right amount on the top by like sitting it through the little holes. And I like to take a small compact brush and just get rid of the excess there. It's like it's snowing. And I just take this and I put it on the most important areas, like under the eyes, um, my chin and my nose. I really try to get it all up under there. Then the chin. Nose. And forehead just above the brows. Now with my most important areas done, I can take a really big brush and just do it over the rest of my face. Next up we have my favourite thing, which is a blush. Um, this is the Sugar Rush Flush Blush. Blush I never used to like. But it's now one of my favourite things because it really warms up your face and it makes you look happy and smiley. The key thing is to get the right colour. Like for me, I use a very corally base. So as you can see, it has four different colours. It's a pink, uh, orange and a coral colour because that's what suits me best. So you need to find whatever suits you best. I like to put it really on like the apples of my cheeks to give me more of a youthful look. Um, but I also like to kind of bring it up a bit to blend it in. Also, another great thing about this one is that it kind of has a little bit of a highlight to it almost, so it does make you look a bit dewy and glowy as well. I will also take this and not only put it on my cheeks, but also the tip of my nose, a little bit on my chin, and just on the forehead, just right there. That's because these are like the highest points of your face, so it will give you like a look like you've just come out of being in the sun. Now that we've finished our face, we're going to move on to eyes. The first thing you're going to want, eyeshadow. 
This is the Lost in Space Bronzing and Highlighting Palette by CYO. I chose this palette because it's very natural, which is what we want for back to school. I'm going to take the darkest colour and go into my creases. I like to bring it up quite high under my eye, like under, like quite up to under the brow bone. I also try to drag it out so it doesn't just end in your eyes, like it kind of ends slightly further off. I'm now going to take this shade here in the middle and put it right on top of your actual eyelid and as close to the eyelash line. This will really mimic the contours of your eyes and quite brighten them quite a lot as well. And because it deepens the socket so it makes your eyes look bigger. It's really important to blend the two colours together. Now I'm going to take this colour here, which is the, like, not the darkest, but the second darkest. A very gold colour, actually. And with my finer end of my makeup brush, I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a closer up mirror to do this. Just using my fingertip, I'm going to kind of blend this in underneath. Adding the colour underneath the eye, it makes for a really good transition into the upper eye colour. And last but not least for the eyes, I'm going to use the lightest shade and just put it in the very inner corners to brighten the eyes and make you look more awake like you got sleep last night. I really take this and don't even put it on either eye, like eyelid or underneath the eyes, I really just put it like right next to the eye. So it goes a bit on top and a bit underneath. And taking the bigger end, I'm just going to blend that. All about blending. Now the final step for the eyes is mascara. And I find it hard to find a good mascara, but this is a mascara I swear by, and I love it so much, a perfect for school. This is the Lash Hero by The Body Shop. And on one side you have a mascara, and on the other side you have fibre. So what you do is you apply mascara, then fibre, then another layer of mascara. And each of the fibres stick to your lashes and they lengthen them and they can thicken them. It depends how you brush it to go on. And I think that's amazing that it's like so versatile. The most important thing is getting quite close to the roots rather than doing it so much at the top. Next up, the fibres. You don't want to make it too clunky. You want to evenly spread out the fibres. And then a quick little layer of mascara. Next I'm just going to brush my eyebrows. Now, this depends on the person, but for me I have very thick eyebrows, so I don't really need to fill them in. But I suggest doing as little as you can possibly can do to your eyebrows, just to make them look as natural as possible. That is the goal here. Try not to do that. Eyebrows done. Two seconds and they're done. Okay, so we're getting to the final steps. Next up is lips, of course, and I'm gonna be using two MAC products. I'm gonna be using the Spice Lip Liner and the Smooth Going Lipstick. Now this is very special because it's a plen- oh, it's a pl ah, okay. It's a plenty of pout pumping, plumping lipstick. Ah, oh, go again. Take three. It's a plenty of pla- and this is a tongue twister. Now this is special because it is a plenty of pout plumping, oh I forgot the last word, lipstick. How did I forget that? This one is special because it's a plenty of pout plumping lipstick. Whew, that was a challenge. But I'm gonna be lining my lips first, then going in with this lipstick. You just wanna take it and line it very lightly around your lips. I'm gonna blend this in just with my finger like this. Just so it blends out a bit more. Next, going in with the lipstick, 
I like this because it has a very shiny, sheer finish to it. Thanks for watching this video, if you liked it make sure you give it a juicy thumbs up and also good luck for people going back to school, I know people don't enjoy school but do enjoy it, it's fun, you learn stuff. I'm only going back for a week and then I'm off again filming until I go back like ages later so do enjoy it, Le study, study learn, <laughs> enjoy school, why am I going on about school? Have a good one, big love! <laughs>